Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Charles Young back at you again. Follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's Open T H O T S dot com. You can follow me on Facebook or my Twitter. I'll have all these in the description at the below. So check this out. I know I always rub my nose or something at the very beginning of the video, burping a lot. Um, what I wanted to talk to you about is really I want to talk to parents with their children. I've been working for, with kids for about eight years now. And I love working with kids. Um, I did a summer program with them. I taught them how to do acting. I taught them how to do uh, music, rhyming, poetry, art. I had an artist come in and speak to the kids about his art. He does phenomenal work. And, you know, they learned a lot. And I wanted to learn what they learned. I wanted to get some feedback. And they enjoyed doing it. And they made little videos. You know, I wanted them to get the full experience of what it takes to actually go through the movie process and learning that you need storyboards and scripts and you know you got to make improvisions if you need to and what improv is and all that and they enjoyed it and you know I was thankful for the opportunity to be able to um, learn how to do this and I had to educate myself on some of this information um, to better perform for, the, for these children so they can be educated about the situation. Now, I took out the time to do this for these kids, and what I want to tell parents is, I think you, I'm not going to forget to say thing. You need to still continuously learn and better yourself, evolve yourself, especially if you have young children. You need to understand the importance of educating yourself to the highest potential because you need to educate your future. Your future is an investment, and your investment will be your child. If you stop learning, if you stop educating yourself, you're not helping that child in any shape or form. Children need to be evolved. Time as time evolves and grows, the children are evolving. Well, if you don't evolve yourself, you're just left behind. It's like revelations. You'll just be left behind while everything else is advancing around you. You'll just be stuck in one situation. And then after a while, when your child is asking you for certain answers that you can't answer, he's going to find other resources and other places to find, fulfill those answers and it's not always the cleanest and the best way to receive that answer so it's better for you to continuously educate yourself therefore you can educate your child also I believe you gotta learn to get a trade you have to have some form of a trade that you can pay, pass down to your child so he can he or she can have something to pass down to their children a tradition something that's great that's uplifting that's empower, that's empowering to the children, to your youth. I learned that if we stop learning, the, the adults, if we stop learning, we can't help these kids. These kids keep continuously evolving. I have some kids that are, we got, there was foreign kids saying the N-word. And you know, they're not even from here. You know what I'm saying? They've only been here about, what, six months. And they're using words and you know we're still trying to shun and hush oh no what we need to do is we need to educate ourselves and teach them why it's important for them to understand this information and why they need to learn it because once we stop growing the kids are going to continuously grow they're in a society where they're always growing I remember as a child we didn't have cell phones we didn't have DVD players we only had a VHS player and we wasn't able to touch it <laughs> So in that case, but these kids now can take pictures and they're like three years old on the iPhone and they can play games on your iPhone and they can do uh, set the TV, reprogram the TV, do the DVR and they're only like five years old. So they're advancing and they're evolving, which makes you, you need to advance and evolve so you can continuously keep up with your child. You have to keep up with your child because this is a fast paced world. Think about it. We got an iPhone one year and then we have another one in the next six months and then we have another Galaxy and we have another new phone and we have a new app and we have a new uh, uh, gizmo or gadget uh, on the dance. <laughs> so we have some new things that are going on but you continuously want to talk about back in my day I used to have. Well that doesn't help because it's our day. It's a younger generation day and, and think about it. We're going to get into the situation where we become 40 years old and there's going to be kids under us and they're going to be it's going to be their day. It's not going to be ours. So our rules do change. We can't bring, some. sometimes we can't bring back the old values and morals that we had before and a lot of the stuff really don't want to bring it back kids don't really want to accept it when this is a new society we have a new set of mind we have a new mind a new mind state we're growing in different ways 
So you should always be continuously on the, on the uh, up and up, basically on the incline, learning more to help your children so you can understand them when they say something to you. You can understand, you can help them, and you can have a decent conversation versus arguing because you two come from two different generations. It doesn't really help. So learn as much as you possibly can. Learn until you die, man. This is a world. Learn, 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 learn. Don't give up on learning. It's the greatest thing. You should learn until you die. There's been so many people who have been learning their whole entire life and still continuously learn every single day. But you're learning so you can help your investment grow and you can have a better relationship with your child. So you are not in no gray areas with them. Y'all don't understand each other. You don't, you don't understand. You can't get it. It's either your way or the highway. No. Why do we live in this? It's either your way or the highway society when really the highway is a better way than your way. It's a shortcut to success. So, <laughs> so in that case, I just want to tell you, parents, learn continuously. Learn. Learn for your children, man. I'm learning as much as I possibly can before I have my own children. I'm learning tons. Trust me. I'm learning trades. I'm learning. I already learned how to um, do an art, uh, 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 acting, writing. I'm learning it all because I know one day I'm going to have my children and I want them to be expressive and do their talents that they want to achieve. And that's what I care about is uh, learning as much as I possibly can. So I don't have to have somebody else teach my child something that I don't know, or I'm comfortable enough to say, you know what, that individual can teach you and I can teach you on my side as much as I possibly can. If I don't have a full understanding, I can learn as much as that person can teach me so I can teach my child. And that's what parents, I, I believe, especially if you have little kids, you have to learn. You have to continuously learn so you can teach them to be higher and advanced. Because honestly, let's look at our society. These children are advancing. Parents are picking this up. Parents are picking this up. The other day I seen, I seen they had 10 children and seven of them already had a AA or BA. And it was, it was crazy. Some of the kids weren't even, when they got it, they were like 12 years old. Like, I'm like, what? And the parents said, well, what they did was they changed their whole perception and, and how they felt the need of educating their child. What they did was they took their children to the library and saw what their interest was. And they taught them based upon their interests, what they liked, what they enjoyed. Not so much of what the school was telling them that they had to do, but what they felt the children enjoyed. And as that continuously grew, they homeschooled their children. And now their kids have bachelor degrees. They have 18, like what, two, a couple of 18 kids who were 18 years old who had their bachelor's degree. One of them had an AA degree. I think two or three of them had AA degrees. Uh, the oldest one had hers at 12. Uh, it, it was it was phenomenal to hear the story about parents educating themselves, being smart enough to understand that it's a new society and we should change our ideas of how to teach our children. So that's my advice to you parents. Pick up a book or pick up some learning. Get on that computer. Stop looking at that thing like it's crazy and teach those kids. All right, so I thank you for listening to me again. Follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's Open, T-H-O-T-S.com. Uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. You know, if you don't agree with this, tell me why you don't agree with this. Let's have a conversation. I love having a conversation with people. So I thank you and you have a good one. Peace.